Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today we are talking jewelry and the Stella Dot Springline launched recently and I know a lot of you have been waiting to see what I picked up. As in normal fashion, I usually make a couple orders. You know, I kind of have the bulk of my order, what I know, you know, for sure I want. I place that and then I kind of wait a few days to see what other stylists are getting, you know, take a peek at the lookbook a little more. And then some things just grab me that maybe didn't catch my attention before. So I have a couple of pieces um, that I'm waiting on right now. I'll go ahead and insert pictures of those here. Actually, they should be here today. Um, one, of it, one of them is the stone tile necklace. This is a gorgeous necklace. Now, it was on my radar before, but after seeing this particular picture, and I believe I posted both of these on my Facebook. So I have a specific Stella and Dot Facebook page um, if you would like to join that. I post a lot of pictures and just any specials or anything we might be having, so that link is below. This detail of the necklace really sold me. It is stunning. It is probably the most detailed necklace that I ever remember seeing from Stella and Dot. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I just couldn't pass it by when I saw this picture. It was like, this is just so gorgeous any time of the year. I feel like it would transition into fall, spring, summer. Um, and of course, I'm a sucker for blues anyway, so... I just had to end up getting this. It does have matching earrings. Um, they're a little bit longer, and of course they're transitional as a lot of Stella and Dot jewelry is. Um, but I wasn't as interested in the earrings as the necklace. And then also the Lotus Tassel Necklace. This is gorgeous. Now, I did kind of know I was getting this right off, but for some reason I didn't put it in my initial order. Um, I love the picture of it with the girl wearing it with the white shirt. I just think it's so pretty and to me it can kind of transition like preppy looking or edgy. I just love the tassel look and the colors. Again, tassels and fringe are very big again this season. So I believe that's all I'm waiting on. I have to confess I did not buy any bags with this collection yet. Now, y'all know I'm a bagaholic. I cannot pass up a good bag, but I kept trying to tell myself, you know, you don't need any more bags, even though the ones in this collection are gorgeous. Um, if you guys have seen some of those pictures of the new Hudson tote, you know how the black and cream ones sold out like a couple times really quickly? This one is going to be the same. So if you want it, I would get it. And there's like a matching wallet that's gorgeous. The new getaway that's in the black and white stripe. I just, the bags are gorgeous. So let's start out with what I'm wearing today. So this is the swag necklace and you'll kind of see a theme throughout Stella and Dot this season is there was a lot of this kind of um, marbling look on a lot of pieces, which I personally love. This was something I was kind of not sure about, but when I decided on it, there was a picture that kind of inspired me from the lookbook, and I actually put that on my Facebook as well, with one of the models wearing just a gray tank top. And immediately I thought, you know what, like a gray tank dress in the spring and summer, or even just a gray or white plain t-shirt, this would be like a really simple but sexy piece. So I thought this was really pretty and like a lot of Stella and Dot pieces, again, um, it's reversible. So it's actually plain on the other side. So you could flip it over if you didn't want, um, you know, the actual gray marbled look. Oh, and I forgot to mention it. Um, this necklace actually looks really great paired with our silver, silver rebel pendant. I'll put that on real quick. I had it on earlier, but then I thought I just probably should show you this one by itself. But, um... This is it layered. And you know, as with most Stella and Dot pieces, they, you can mix and match so many things, but this is it layered. And I think this makes a really cool look as well. Next are the Deja Vu studs that I am wearing. And if you're familiar with the Deja Vu studs, um, they are reversible. So you can wear them on the back or the front. These are new for this season and they're actually like a halite design, which is kind of the same as this, um, that marbled look. It's a semi-precious stone. And I just thought they were really cute because I liked that they were silver. Most of you know, I typically wear studs most of the time. Studs or hoops, I feel like. I'm not a huge statement earring person. Once in a while, I like them. But I just thought these were really pretty. And these are called the Deja Vu Stone Studs. And again, they're the highlight. And I hopefully am showing you pictures of what both sides look like. And I like the silver part on the opposite side because it's that brushed silver. So I thought that was really pretty. Okay, next up would be the ARC pendant necklace. And this is already going to be a great seller for us. I mean, I think all the stylists got it because we um, were seeing a lot of it posted before the line came out. And again, with anything with this natural stone, it's gonna have some variations. So some of them may have more marbling than the others. 
I'm gonna try to put in a better close-up picture of this because the detail of this is absolutely stunning. It's amazing how great the detail of the stones um, are on this. So it does have a gold adjustable chain. I just love white and gold together um, in the spring and summer. It's really pretty. And this necklace would look great paired with one I'm gonna show you next. So this is the new moon necklace. And this again, I think is going to be a really great um, seller this year. So a really long pendant, but simple pendant necklace. It's on a 24 inch chain. Um, some of those black stones, like what is in the arc pendant as well. So of course, this is like a smaller bust um, form I have here, but kind of give you a little bit general idea. These look really great layered together. I think they may even be layered together in the lookbook. So something I actually got with the pre-launch that launched a few months ago, you know, there was a few pieces that always come out right before the main launch. This is the Essential Fringe Necklace in gold. This has been hugely popular and it actually comes out in silver, like a brush silver for spring. So, or, you know, in the main spring line. So if those of you who don't like gold, but you love this necklace, check it out in silver. Um, but this actually just layers with so many great pieces. I mean, it layers great, you know, with the engravable bar. I mean, this layers with so many great things. There's tons of pictures online. And let me know if you want me to post those to my Facebook too, all the ways to layer with this. But this is just a nice, really cool piece. I think you've seen me wear this before, but I never actually showed you my haul because I only picked up about four pieces from the pre-launch line, but wanted to talk about that since it comes in silver as well. So next is the Gilded Path Double Wrap Bracelets. All of our double wrap bracelets are hugely popular. This one's on a white leather band and it has two different kinds of stones here on it. So it makes it look really pretty has just a lot of texture and interest. So I really like that. So here's kind of what it looks like um, if you overlap them and it has a ton of buttons on here, the snap. So you, if you have a small wrist like I do or a larger wrist, it would fit great either way. So again, this one's going to be, I'm sure popular because all of our wrap bracelets are popular. This is really pretty. I love it because you could do kind of the mixed metal look with this. Next are the, um, I don't know if you want to call it Isadora, Isadora hoops. They came out in silver finally. I've been eyeing these hoops, but I didn't need a pair of gold. We already had them in gold, so they finally came out in silver. And I just really love these because I love the little bit of texture here on the outside. And I just think they're like a really great size hoop too, especially if you have long hair like I do. Um, you know, you can see them when your hair is down. Speaking of my hair, I'm feeling a little Farah today. <laughs> well, it's a little too swoopy for me here, but maybe I was channeling the line because I feel like the spring line definitely has a very 70s vibe, even with the models and the clothing inside. Um, you know, you just have the coloring, the flare jeans, all that kind of look, um, the chain details and things like that. I just think it has a very 70s vibe. So maybe my hair is appropriate then for that. Next will be the Sawyer Stone uh, Stretch Bracelet in Turquoise. I was so excited when I saw this because I love gold and turquoise together. Um, many of you saw I have the white one, which is also beautiful because it's the white and gold. Would look great with that arc pendant necklace that just came out. This is beautiful. Again, it's exactly like the white one if you're familiar with that. Just really, really pretty detail. I love the stretch bracelets because they're great. Again, if you have a small wrist like I do, my, my wrist doesn't even measure, I think. It's um, not even six inches, if that tells you anything. Or if you have a large wrist, these usually fit really well. This is just absolutely beautiful. I love like the variation of color in the turquoise and it has, you know, the veining in it. It's just so pretty. Really looking forward to that this spring. So something I got with the pre-launch as well is the Alley Double Wrap in the white. So this is extremely popular in the black. We already had that. And then the white came out. And oh my God, I was so excited for this because again, that gold with white, it would look great if you wanted to pair it these two together or again with anything else, any other gold bracelets would look really, really pretty. It has the buckle. It's a leather strap, so it has the buckle on the back. And again, you can make it for any size wrist. It has quite a bit of adjustment there. So this, I think, is just gorgeous. One of my favorites. Okay, I might have saved the best for last here. This is something that I knew right away I wanted. It's the turquoise stone layering necklace. A lot of layering necklaces that came out in the spring, um, you know, short, long, you name it. So if you're into delicates, this is the line for you. 
Okay, how cute is this? Again, the gold and the turquoise looks great. Um, paired, you know, with the Sawyer Stone bracelet. So like all Stella and Dot being versatile, you can wear these all three together. You can take one off. They do have the adjustments on the back. So you have the extender here and then you can take each piece off. There's spring rings here. You can take each piece off. Um, it's pretty much like our Ave Chevron necklace or like the element. Anything with like a couple of strands hooked together, you can take, you know, one off, wear it like this or just these two or just this one, you know, whatever you want. But again, I was super excited about this just because it was dainty and delicate, um, but I loved the turquoise and gold together. So that is all I purchased from the spring line this time. I was trying to be really good and not go too overboard like I tend to do with all the lines. I mean, it's all just so pretty. Um, and again, I've enjoyed looking um, through the lookbook. Again, I think this cover has like a very 70s vibe to it, but just some really great layering pieces in it. Um, a lot of color as well though, so if you're into color. Um, I know not all of you are into statement necklaces, so that's why I believe this line in particular has a lot of great like layering pieces or dainty, um, not just for the statement. So, so I wanted to mention real quick, I put this on my Stella Knot Facebook, but this Waverly, the Waverly Petite in this really beautiful um, cream and white, and as you know, it can be worn long or you can open it cross body. This is extremely similar to that clutch you see me carry a lot. If you've watched any of my, um, what I wear on my cruise videos, I always try to link something similar, but it's a really hard bag to find. I've had it for years. I'm actually thinking about getting this one. So in case something happens to that one, I have a similar color. So if you guys are looking for something similar, this bag is it. I will link it below. Uh, it's the Waverly Petite in the Neutral Woven Chevron. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I get a lot of questions about that bag. And when I saw they came out with this one, I'm like, oh my God, it's almost identical. So let me know what you guys are loving so far from the spring line, if you've checked it out online. I do have a mystery hostess trunk show open. Um, I think I tweeted about it, put it out on Instagram. So for every $25 you spend, you get entered to win the hostess credits. I am... The last two times I've split it between two winners because it's been as high as $700 before. So that's great. And there's half off items as well. So again, for every $25 you spend, you'll be put in the pot to win some of the hostess rewards. That show will run for three weeks. That link will be below. So definitely use that link if you want to shop because why not be entered to win some free jewelry? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.